Welcome to the TechSquid Lab demo. We'd like to give you a short video demonstration illustrating the look and feel of the TechSquid Lab. The video was prepared in real time and accesses distributed data holdings over the internet. The first step is to open the TechSquid Lab. It's based on Eclipse and unites all tools and services under one roof. Let's assume that an editor wants to work on an already available scholarly text. The first step might be to look for the most recent version of the text. Assume we want to look for Goethe's Veata. We type in J-O and the system auto-completes the name. Here are the results. For each version, the name, title, and data format are shown. Using the title search, we of course get different results. If we do a full text search on the word Blut, for example, then we see in the column Treffer the number of times the word occurs in the text. The word Liebe appears to be more common. And of course the system provides a search history. Now we have decided on the TEI Lite text version of Goethe's Werther and we open it with the text editor. This is a standard Eclipse editor. Because the text we are now opening is hosted in tubing in Germany, it may take a couple of seconds to open. We decide that we would rather work in a more comfortable software environment, and so we close the text editor, and this time open the doc book version of Goethe's Werther with the graphical editor, which is based on an open source product, Vex. In the editor, the XML tags are shown as graphical elements in order to help the scholar focus on the text. We open the table of contents in the left window. It is linked to the text and enables the scholar to navigate quickly within the text. 20th of October, 9th of May, and back to the 20th of October. Now let's take a look at footnotes. The word Unhult is explained in the text with a definition from the Adelung Dictionary. To look it up in other dictionaries, we use a web dictionary service running in Trier. Now we choose the Grimm Dictionary, and the definition appears in the bottom frame. We see that the definition from Grimm supports the definition from Adelung. If we want to annotate a word, for instance Feda, then we use the Insert function, and the editor offers the elements available in this context. We choose Note. Go to the Goethe Dictionary this time. And retrieve the definition that could be inserted into our text. But we decide not to change the Verta text after all, and we close the editor without saving our footnote. This was a short demonstration of some early features in the TechSquid Lab. Please take a look at our website at www.techsquid.de for more information.